As you guys are aware, Mary Jerry has finally been elected and he comes with three money fiestas. Today we'll be doing the first money fiesta of the three and we're going to do it for some money. That's right, we'll be testing out our mining setups here and of course these are not maxed out mining setups, more like kind of the average mining setup. It will be very interesting to see if this is going to be worth our time to get ourselves a ruby. Um, maybe it might be smarter for us to actually level up the set with getting gemstones. I also want to mention that if you want to be here before 30k, definitely go ahead and subscribe because we are growing quickly. It would mean the world and of course it'll help us out a lot. Also smash a like for more RNG and of course luck with those jerry boxes. All right, so let's get started. Let's prepare for this mining fiesta. I actually have a Devon's piece I have to pick up here in the forge. As we speak, the Devon's helmet is ready. We're gonna pick it up right now. I'm very excited. We'll get this whole armor piece ready for this event, actually the mining fiesta from Mayor Jerry. You know, it just made it on time here and um, all my other good basically gemstones, my perfects, my flawless are all on my yog right now. So I do have to take those off first and then put them on my uh, helmet. So I'll pick up the helmet first though. All right, here we go at the forger and let's freaking go there you go legendary helmet now the scary part is guys i only have 4.4 million coins on me at the moment like under my name in my profile and i still have to remove a bunch of gemstones and also put the reforged stone onto this helmet so we'll see how many coins we have left hopefully we have enough to do this we'll have to find out all right first things first is put that reforge onto the helmet just like so 300,000 coins there we go jaded helmet of devon and now let's head back into the crystal hollows Add our chambers and then uh, add our pristine. Let's do this. There's the helmet. Put that in there. We'll add our chambers. We'll do topaz and jade. We only have two chambers. We can't do three, unfortunately. All right, so let's take off our perfect topaz here from the armor. There we go. We'll actually add our fine as well really quick here off the helmet. Let's add that on there. And then uh, I'm going to see if we have any fine, I mean, any flawless leftover from Topaz maybe that we can craft and put onto our chest plate here just to make it a little bit better. All right, we got enough amber for a flawless. There we go. We crafted that. And we're going to put that onto the Yogg armor set as well and put the flawless on. There we go. And then we'll put the whole armor set onto us. Damn, and we're looking really good. I can't wait to see how this does here in Mergeria in this mining fiesta because we're going for our coins this time, just money, ruby. And we'll see how much profit we can make. Of course, I also have to go ahead and put something on my gauntlet, which is the Fortune 4 book we got from last video from those runs. As you can see here, I have one as well. So very exciting. We can definitely use this today in this mining fiesta. So let's go ahead and apply this quick. Let's put our gauntlet in here and our Fortune 4. There it is. And confirm. There we go. Damn, this thing's looking really nice. Getting better and better by the day. Let's see how much ruby we can collect today. Now, to get started in this event, we want to go over the armor set. You guys know exactly what we're running here and also how much powder we have. But as you can see right here in the grinder, if we put in our helmet, for example, we currently are running one perfect topaz and a flawless jade. And for the chest plate, we're running a flawless jade, a flawless amber, and a perfect and a flawless topaz. Then for the leggings, we are running a flawless jade, a flawless amber, and a perfect topaz. And for the boots, we're actually running two flawless jades and one perfect topaz. Now for the gauntlet wise, we're basically running flawless in the amethyst, sapphire, and amber, and a perfect topaz and a perfect jade stone. So in total here, we're almost have we actually have pretty decent gemstones on here. My brother has one extra jade on his other armor piece, which I don't have a chamber for. And then for powder wise, if you look at the hard mountain right now, I currently am sitting at 2.1 million gemstone powder for my gauntlet mine's a little bit different as well if you take a look here if i put it in i do have a perfect jade and topaz and only one flawless amethyst the rest are fine still so it's a little bit different than my brother and for my tree i also have a little bit less powder as well i only have um 1.9 mil so very close but still a little bit different and i still have the extra jade as my brother said and i also want to mention that with this fiesta here our pristine right now on our profile is also sitting at with not having any let me hold everything quick and just put everything on but without being in the magma fields we are sitting at a pristine level now of 14.6 so we're gonna be around a 16.79 pristine in the magma fields so we'll see how much we can make with this of course it's gonna be exciting to see for myself i'm sure you guys are excited to see it as well and it's kind of like an average mining setup okay so now the event is starting in basically a minute you can see here in the calendar there's the countdown. We got a minute and 25 seconds left. So let's go ahead and find ourselves a lobby, a nice good ruby lobby. Let's try to find ourselves a day one. That might be the best bet. And we got ourselves a day one. Let's go. And there we have it. We found ourselves a nice spot here. As you can see, we got some rubies nicely exposed, just like that. It looks like it was already pre-mined. We'll see if anyone's here. And if there's no one here, we'll just take it, I guess. So whoever left, thank you. But uh, if you are here, I will be finding myself a new spot. So no worries. All right, so we got ourselves a skate here by accident. Let's see what we get. And nothing. 
Okay, and we're cutting back here. We are having a massive amount of trouble trying to find a lobby. Unfortunately, every lobby we get into, even a day one, there's someone already in the spot mining Ruby. So, you know, they're claiming the spot, seeing it's theirs, which they do have rights to do because we do the same thing. But as you can see, we did find this little room right here. This is doing okay. It's doing, it's, it's just fine. We'll see how well it'll work. I'll mine between the walls here too and see if I find any Ruby. But as of right now, we're definitely stressing trying to find a spot and uh, it's just not yet perfect. So we'll see how efficient we'll be here within, I'm going to say another... Oh, 20 minutes, hopefully. Exactly. It's been quite difficult. I did find myself a spot here in the current Ruby section or Ruby area. I guess two people did show up, but they left right away, which is kind of nice. So they sort of respect or respected my space. So, so far, it's been okay. And uh, I did mine a little bit here. I think it's only been five minutes. But so far in my sack, just by being here now, finding myself a kind of a decent spot and just rotating the crystals, I have now 600,000 Ruby already. So that's looking nice. So we're cutting back here. It's been basically around, let me just check tab here, how much time we have left for this event. We got another three hours and 54 minutes. So it's almost been an hour and like 10 minutes. And so far we have ourselves, we just switched lobbies again, by the way. So far we have ourselves uh, 1.6 mil already. That's looking good. Again, we're really slow right now because we're having such bad luck with these lobbies. A lot of people are just coming in here and griefing. But uh, honestly, I guess it is part of the game, unfortunately, but We'll hopefully have more luck with this one and then we'll kind of catch up from what we've missed so far in the event. And I'm cutting back as well here. Now, me and brother have actually partnered up into this lobby together. We're going to like kind of, I know, mark our territory, hopefully, and like maintain all these rubies here. The other lobby I had was actually not too great. It's pretty bad, but we'll take a look at the sack. We've hardly mined anything just like here and there. And let's just see where we're at. Only 1.3 mil. Okay, it's still pretty decent, but we're going to keep mining. Uh, you can tell Pristine is definitely looking good here on the armor set. It's definitely proccing quite a bit. But we'll keep mining away and we'll just hopefully get ourselves, again, a bunch of coins, fill the sack pretty fast and then empty it and we'll just sell it all and see how much it's going to be. Let's go, Legendary Jerry. First one so far for this Jerry Mare, which is exciting. There it is. Let's go. Oh, Legendary Jerry. Let's go. All right, so there you go. The time has come. We now have ourselves a full sack. You can see it's already overflowing in our inventory. So to go ahead, craft this down into fine. So right now, as you can see, we have everything into fine. So you can go ahead, open up the trades menu and just see how much we can make here. So we do have 200K in the purse. We'll ignore 200K, but let's go ahead and sell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They're all gone. We made ourselves 10.5 mil. Damn. Obviously, we had a, a rough start, but I would say in like an hour and 20, you could probably do this. Pull off 10 mil just like that. Oh my gosh. I just realized I'm proccing like crazy pristine here. Getting 72, 48, 24 is the average and 50s. Like it's actually very nice to see this. It's actually so rewarding on the Iron Man, especially to see such nice pristine procs in the chat. Um, I've actually decided while I'm mining the ruby here, I'll mine some topaz on the side as well because we still need one more perfect topaz. So I'll slowly work towards that and then maybe put some time again aside on the mining fiesta or even at the end of this fiesta to focus topaz and get myself another perfect. Okay, so my sack is full as well. We're gonna condense that and sell it and right away and just see how many coins we get. It's probably gonna be the same as my brother, roughly the same, obviously, around 10 mil, which is actually crazy. There we have it, we got a bunch of fine. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna sell all this right now. We do have a cook which is great there you go and there we have it 10.5 mil what this is actually crazy this gonna be so good for the profile especially for the dungeons coming up here really really good we're coming back here it is currently 1 42 a.m we're kind of tired and i do have to say we're having a lot of problems with the lobbies here we've even been disconnecting from the wi-fi several times i think it was already a total of three times so to refine our lobbies we have to find other lobbies it was definitely quite the process today and uh, we are hitting the two hour mark. So there's two hours left in the event already. And we have ourselves already almost a full sack again, as you can see here, we're at 2.3 mil, so almost 2.5. Definitely finish that up right here as we're speaking. But honestly, uh, I just have to say, I think this is one of my worst mining fiestas so far on the profile, just because, not really like um, grinding wise, but I would say the experience wise, uh, it's just been so tedious trying to find lobbies and they just close and we've been disconnecting from the Wi-Fi if they didn't close. And if they, we, if that didn't happen, then we have someone else just coming in and griefing us. So it was definitely brutal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut back in here once I have another full sack and then we'll see and we'll go from there. All right. So we just crashed here. Look at this. I got to warp again in. Unbelievable what's going on with the internet right now. I don't know what's, what's happening. Like it's just brutal. I got, I got at least I got to warp back in, but uh, honestly, like just from that clip ending there and then a little bit of mining. I almost finished my sack, as you can see, as I was talking about. I'm at um, 2.4. 
But yeah, we just crushed again. Like, it's, it's tedious, guys, today. All right, so now with this sack here, this second batch, I'm going to just keep these as fine because I'll sell them later when I need the coin because I don't want to overload my purse. So just keep it here. Still pretty good, I guess. It is It is only 20 mil so far, but I do have to say it's still way better than farming. All right, we're cutting back in here. I just wanted to mention that we did empty this sack again. As you can see in my storage, we got ourselves quite a few fine. And again, we're gonna keep this into its ruby form. We don't really want to get this into coins yet. I'll do that later when we do dungeons and stuff like that. We do have 10 mil on us right now, so I think we're chilling with that at the moment. We can buy cookies and things like that. But uh, we're going to obviously calculate how much we have in the end and then convert that into coins just so you guys know roughly how much we made. But I think we're going to have to focus more on this mining set here in the future and then again focus Ruby because I feel like it's still not 100% where I want to have it. All right, we're cutting back again here. It looks like everything is against us here. The lobby just crashed. So Wi-Fi is crashing, lobby is crashing. Things are getting griefed, like what is going on? You know, we're trying our best here to make as much Ruby as we can, but it looks like this video is not the ac most accurate, you know, for our mining setups. Um, it's kind of roughly there. Let's say this video is going to show you the absolute worst possible, like, like, things that could happen when you mine and how much you can make off of it. How about that? So at the end of the video, we'll tell you guys how much we made off of a uh, horrible experience that is like uh, the bare minimum you should make off this set. Yo, just cutting back again. We just level up to mining 50. Yes, that's definitely a positive for today. Let's go. Wow, that's so passive too. That's crazy. All right, my sack is full again, which is awesome. That means we can condense some things here. A few more of these rubies. We're not gonna turn these into coins yet, of course, but we'll keep mining. We only have about 45 minutes or so left in this event. We'll see how many more we can get in the sack. All right, so we're mining here. And as you can see, a tab, we got ourselves 11 seconds, nine seconds. So the event's about to end here. A last few gemstones before it over. And, oh, I can't reach that one. There you go, it's over. Put your pickaxes down and haul your ores home. There you go, the mining fiesta has ended. Let's see how much we have in our sack now for the fourth time. Let's see. And we're at 1.7 mil, so almost two mil, just like that again. So we made some, like, we made some good money. Let's go. Okay, so we're cutting over here. It's the next day. We are now awake again. What a grind. That was quite a late mining fiesta for us here. But as you can see, the event ended and we got ourselves a lot of fine. Look at this. We have so much fine here to sell. Unbelievable. Also have a lot of jerry boxes. We got ourselves 10 green, 5 blue, 4 purple, and 1 legendary. Let's go. So we got our luck here for that one. Of course, we'll be opening up these in the next episode. But overall, we got so many fine here. And calculating up on how much this will make, we basically have ourselves just adding up all these fine. We have 1,117 fine gemstones sitting here and each fine sells for 25.6k. So total amount here that we have just in this inventory here is 28,595,200 coins just sitting here in our inventory. Plus we still have the 10 mil in our purse. So in this event, we made a total of 38 million 795,200 coins. So that is so much coins here for the profile, especially for dungeons, absolutely crazy. And again, it wasn't the best mining fiesta we had either. And we're cutting in here as well to see how much coin we actually made ourselves. This is Twinkled One here. And you know what? Our setup is a little bit different than my brother's. I don't have a, uh, my brother has an extra jade actually on his armor set. I don't, I am missing a chamber to actually fill up that spot. But overall, roughly the same. Now again, we forgot to put the jaded reforge onto the yog, but that's okay, we're gonna do that now. We kind of threw in that sense, but the total we actually made, if you look at my inventory right now, we got ourselves a bunch of stacks of fine. We also have the 10 mil that we uh, sold earlier. So just the fine in my inventory right now would be 24,755,200 coins, all right here. And if we add our 10 mil, 10.2 mil on top of that, it would have been 34,955,200 coins on the profile. So we basically made ourselves close to 35 million, basically 35 mil, which is very nice. And of course, I'd love to make more, but hey, you know what? We were having a very scuffed mining session here, but hey, we made definitely the bare minimum, which is definitely a nice amount. So absolutely crazy. So any amount we see here is still more than we ever had on the profile we ever held in our hands here in Hypixel Skyblock. So crazy to see here on the Iron Man profile. And honestly, I don't even know where to store it. What do you guys do? You just buy cookies the whole time until it runs out? Or what, what's the game plan here with this money now? What should we do with this money? Obviously dungeons. Now, one thing I'll probably be doing here is I'll be basically filling up my purse, also filling up the banker as much as I can, like a nice decent amount, but still enough room so we can get ourselves the nice juicy interest each day. So basically gonna make ourselves some extra profit on the side. So that is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, go ahead and subscribe, join the code. We are trying to reach 30,000 subscribers on the channel and hopefully the next event will be a little bit more successful. We will also be opening all the Jerry boxes in an episode so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys want to see that video, again, subscribe and you'll get a notification of when that video is live.